in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The South African government and several partners have launched the new generation modular solar solution, the Power Turtle, at the off-grid Peasant Valley Primary School in Palmridge in Gauteng earlier this month. The system allows government to provide sustainable and secure energy solutions for rural off-the-grid schools. Mia Breitenbach tells us more. Crime and vandalism have played major roles in the disuse of solar PV power in South Africa. While previous pilots have been attempted, the solar panels were stolen, destroyed or vandalised. In 2015, the Gauteng Department of Education was approached with a new way of providing solar electricity to off-grid schools through the power turtle. This container-based design solution is the brainchild of renewable energy business Ugezi Gold CEO James van der Walt. The system incorporates security as a key design feature. It is the first step towards secure, reliable and sustainable electricity for schools like Pheasant Folly Primary. The one aspect that's always been ignored with all the projects is the security aspect. They say like, what needs to be done for solar if it's going to supply its energy for its guaranteed rate of 25 years, it needs to stay in one place for 25 years. So I started looking at, at, at security solutions and then I developed uh, the solar turtle. Solar panels here in the past get vandalized within the first couple of weeks. So they didn't want to do any more solar. So we had to convince them we can do secure solar. I think the most impressive part is the power pot cradle, which you see this metal frame here behind you. That totally flips closed and shrinks into a tiny little package that goes into the container. The original solar turtle, the panels were mounted on the outside and they flipped open and up and then found down and lock up again. So it was still secure but then nobody's going to get to these panels. So now you actually have to take a grinder and cut a hole into a metal shell to get into the container to get to anything. Morning sunshine triggers the solar panels in the power turtle to roll out on a specially engineered rail system and unfold in minutes. In the evening, the solar panels slide back into the reinforced six meter shipping container for safekeeping. The power turtle was produced by solar focused EPC contractor AM Solar renewable energy business Ugezi Gold and Rexy Vista. AM Solar CEO Alistair Armstrong elaborates on the state-of-the-art technology used in the system. What we did on this project is we essentially did the engineering. So we designed and constructed and procured all the solar technologies uh, and we, did our, we, we basically procured the best of breed internationally. We've got the top products in the box. We're using Schneid electric inverters, the XW Plus, the new, the new one, fantastic. We're using Yingli 310 watt solar panels and very excited to be using a locally produced lithium ion battery called the Freedom One. Fantastic battery, it's the first time we've installed it. We've got 16 310 watt panels, so if you go and do the maths, it's, it's 16 times 310, I think it's about four and a half about five kilowatts peak that we'll get out of the sun at any one moment. So we will charge that over a six hour period. So you can go multiply that by about five and a half, six, and you'll work out that we'll get about 26, 27 kilowatt hours on average throughout the year of solar generated into either the building's load directly, almost like grid tie, and the balance will go into the lithium ion storage. Because solar starts up slowly in the morning and peaks at midday, the battery is there to take up capacity or supply load in the early mornings and obviously the late afternoons and if they've got an evening function. So we've worked out the blend perfectly. So we've got enough power generation out of battery in the morning, solar during the mid, mid, mid part of the day and late in the afternoon again back onto the battery. Um, and these systems are modular so you can in effect put multiple ones of these units if your load needs a bigger draw and the output size of the inverter is an eight and a half kilowatt rated at 100 percent nominal meaning at all times he can generate a maximum of eight and a half if there's an instantaneous load he can actually double that for about a few minutes and then he degrades slowly the power title was sponsored by the Gauteng department of education while funding for the pilot was provided by conference company energynet Speaking at the event, Senior Advisor to the President on Energy, Sila Zimu, highlighted the importance of electricity and energy. He noted that energy leads the economy, the economy boosts education, and education sustains the country. For students at Fez and Folly, the free energy source is the reason for light in the classrooms, for music for creative arts, and with light came joy. Van der Velt, however, emphasized that the power title forms the first phase of a larger vision. I would say that the most interesting part is not just in South Africa's interest. Yes, we have uh, quite a few schools around here, thousands of schools actually, 
but the phenomenal response we've got from overall borders, Nigeria, Mozambique, Burundi, Tiriong, I can't even mention how many people have approached us and said like, listen, we have similar problems in our country. Can't we do a solar turtle, power turtle in our, in, our, in our schools as well? So our plan is to, in the next year, at least do a pilot in Mozambique, maybe one in Nigeria as well. We'll see how it goes. But most importantly, let's get South Africa, get our foothold here. I want to get at least six solar turtle businesses deployed this year, so starting six businesses, but also maybe do about 50 power turtles, because a power turtle is mucky. Make it, and deploy it. Uh, and then they, and they more or less double that capacity every year as we build up confidence. Armstrong shares this vision. We know this application can be applied v so many locations from a construction company doing building a mine in the middle of nowhere to a clinic that needs to keep their medicines cool to a school in the middle of Nigeria for argument's sake who needs electricity because they've got nothing or they've got unreliable supply. This unit can be built back at home in the factory, in our factory and then shipped to the to that location. That's Kruma Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.